Hi again guys, in the last video we priced up my old Simlab GT1 cockpit uh, which I bought in 2015, December 2015 to be exact uh, and we compared the build against the current generation one uh, which you can buy on the Simlab website. Our total build price was £326 uh, which is a lot cheaper and that including shipping as well than the Simlab GT1 which is £580 shipped to, the, to my address in the UK. Uh, that was a saving of £254, which is pretty significant. Uh, in fairness, there is a difference in the design from my one from nearly three years ago to their current one. It is superficial changes, but there are changes. So I decided to have a fair matchup and try to replicate their current GT1 in Frame Designer and then price up the parts again and, and just see where we get to. So this is a shorter video because I'm going to show you the end result and we'll see the features and the, and the kind of the differences, the compromises we've had to make. Uh, Simlab use some custom parts and we have to use off the shelf parts. So there, there is some differences but we'll see if, they, if they're kind of different enough to be a problem as a, as a user. So we'll see that in the video now. And as always, hit the like if you enjoy this video, it will be really appreciated. Thanks again. Hi guys, so I'm sort of set up. We have the Simlab website open, we have Frame Designer open, and we have my parts list in the spreadsheet. So if we go over here, we go to Frame Designer, and we can see, and we've got two designs here, and they don't look too different. This is the original GT1, which is mine, and this is the current GT1, which is theirs, their current one here. There's not a huge amount of differences, but we'll go over them quickly. So firstly, they've shortened these by a few centimeters. As you can see, so we're lined up here, so we know that's, that's tr a true edge. On here, you follow the line, you can see this is it's shortened by a few centimeters. It's really an insignificant amount, but it, you know, it's there to show you. Uh, slightly more significant is they've it's narrower, it's narrower from here to here. If you look at their site, it says 680. So that's 680 from the edge of here to here on the uprights. And on the old one, it's 680 from here to here. And that's narrower because they put the uprights on the outside, opposed to the old design, which are on the uprights on the, on the base here. It doesn't really mean anything in use when you're sitting and you can't tell any difference. These are the seat posts. Uh, your your seat would a bottom mount seat would go here. These are the mount holes. So your seat sliders would go here, and your seat would go on top. Uh, bottom mount seat holes are, are they'll be around two to, a couple of inches from the edge of the seat. So the edge of the seat would come to around the here. You see what I mean there, and, that, and that's within you know the footprint of here. So there's no difference. They 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 made it a bit short. Uh, they, you know, they, they've they shrunk it a little bit width ways, but it makes no difference. It's just a slightly more re refined version. So you can see, yeah, so that's the difference on the uprights they've made there. On the on the back seat bit, they've you, they're using forty eighty. On the original one, it's forty forty. And they removed because they're using a sturdier profile here. They removed this one here, which is another another length uh, sideways bit of profile there, which connects the edges. You can see if we uh, go down here, you can see there's nothing there. So it's probably a kind of a, it's it's a minor it's a minor thing, but you can see there's a change here. Um, I've got a next level V3 motion sitting on mine. And I'm just using 40-40 here, and there's, there's no problem, it's strong enough, it's actually strong enough. So this is nice, but it, it, wasn't, it wasn't necessarily um, a significant upgrade, since I don't have any issues with uh, bending or flexing or anything like that. It's, it's, all, it's all fine. Um, if it would, I would, have, I would have swapped it out for something like this on my, on my setup. If we shoot over to the pedal deck over here, you can see a few changes here. Excuse me, that keeps popping up when we click in there, so we have to we we have to keep keep closing that up. It's a bit of annoyance, but it's no problem really. 
So if we look at these, you can see they're quite long and they run over. Um, so they're, they're a bit longer than they need to be. On the new design, they've shortened them. And it's a sen it was a sensible design change. Uh, I can't really deny that. That was unnecessary. Uh, it, it, it looks a bit uglier. That's a bit nicer. So that's all they've done there. The other thing they've added here is this bit of profile here, which is some 4080. See, there's no channel there. Um, I've, I've, I used, well, at least on this design, I, I kind of popped in uh, the one where it had a, a flat surface. On the reverse, on the underneath, it's actually got a channel. But I think this is a just a heel plate. Your pedals will mount here. So that bit isn't really needed for anything other than to rest your feet on. So I figured, why, why bother with a, a, a piece of profile which has the channel in there when, you know, you don't want to feel it anyway. So you can get pieces like this, and I just popped it in there just to make it tidier. As you can see on this one, there's no, foot, there's no heel plates on here. It's just, it's just the equivalent of these, these two struts here. Uh, they don't add any extra integrity that you could notice. I don't, I'm using HE pedals. They, they don't move. You, you smash on them and there's no movement on them. So I, I concluded that that is just for uh, not a strengthening part. It was just as a, a, a heel plate area, which is a nice feature. It is a nice feature to have on there. I kind of granted, uh, you know, I might, you know, might be, I could put it on mine. It'd be easy enough to buy a piece of profile and just uh, whack it on there. The, the real difference in this design from for me replicating the the SimLab one is we had to compromise on the wheel deck area. On theirs, there's is a custom plate of steel uh, and it's got rake adjustments. So it's got a few adjustments so you can bring it in and out and uh, change the angle, which we can't do on here. We can change we can we change the throw here because we've we've got these and they they go back and forward. But we can't change the the rake angle. We can't change the angle. Uh, that shouldn't make a difference in, for most people. I'm not sure what situation where you'd need that to be on a, on a, on a kind of a crazy angle anyway. Uh, on a direct drive wheel, you get brackets that go down the side and they have, they, they have a, an angle adjustment in them. So you, that's unnecessary. You don't need it. On a consumer wheel, on the base itself, they'll include a, an, an angle anyway of how they're set because they're usually designed for just placing on the table anyway. So to get a comfortable angle, it's already kind of pointing up a little bit. So there's no, there's no kind of real massive advantage here. Uh, yeah, it looks a bit nicer. I can't deny that. Uh, Functioning-wise, there's, no, there's nothing. There's nothing in it. You know, I wouldn't say one beats the other when coming down to the practicalities of, of, of use. Um, so if you're thinking of getting this because of, you know, the, uh, the, the wheel deck is better than this, you'll probably be disappointed if, if you had them sitting side by side and they're set up because you get the same thing, really. Um, so I think, yeah, that's it. That's, that's all the changes we got here. It didn't take me too long to, uh, to design this because it was effectively just copying this and, and making the changes of reducing the lengths and increasing the sizes where necessary and just swapping bits out. Um, so yeah, it, it took me about an hour to mess around with. So that's quite quick. Uh, and then a few minutes to do all, all the pricings and get all the parts here. But the interesting part is how much it costs. That's what you kind of want to know, really. So as a refresher, because this is all in euros, so we do it in pounds because that's, you know, my currency. Shipped, this is 580 pounds, all this. Uh, I priced it up into Modis, Modis, modis.co.uk. And it's the same site we used on the previous build because it's the cheapest place I found. I'm not affiliated. Uh, if I found a cheaper place, I would have used them. And in future videos, if I do some more builds, I'll use another website if I find cheaper prices. So let's go to the bottom because this will be a big reveal as we go down. We see all the parts there. There you go. Here we go. It's 345. So that's a little bit more expensive than this build here. But it's not a lot. It's like twenty pounds. It's uh, it's about twenty pounds, and three hundred forty-five pounds compared to five hundred eighty eighty pounds from here. So that's what you're paying shipped. That's a saving of two hundred thirty-five pounds by 
potentially just you using my plans here uh, and just buying it from here that saves you 235 pounds and to put all this into this website takes all of five minutes for 235 pounds saving as a percentage that's 40 percent on the nose which is pretty huge really when, when you when you look at percentage wise it is, it is quite a big saving by just building your own um, and I've made it a little bit easier by making the plan for you. So you'll find the plan in the description. There'll be download links, uh, and that will, you'll see a download link for Frame Designer because you'll need that to open the the scene file which shows this design. Um, and there's a download link to the Excel document for this. And that's all you need really if you want to if you want to play around with this and you, if you if you want to just price buy it, um, you have all you have all the everything you need so okay so as always I, this is the end of the video so I, I don't think I've got anything more to say here is I hope you like it and um, yeah if you enjoyed it again please hit the thumbs up that helps helps the channel a lot and I'll see you next time